guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's episode, we are going to Moritz Work. It's a small town besides Dresden, around 30 minutes drive from the city center. Moritz Work is really a great itinerary for families because aside from the Moritz Work Castle itself, they also have Pisan Castle, which we're going to right now, and Wild Park. So it's like a mini zoo. So let's check it out. So we park here near the Moritz Work Castle. From the center, we just drive to the right. For more detailed parking info, please check the description box. We started our tour at the end of the parking lot. It is very easy to find your way to the little pheasant castle as there's always a sign every now and then. The Little Pheasant Castle is located in the pheasantry of the Moritzburg Castle Park. It was laid out in 1728. The small castle is very near the Moritzburg Lighthouse, which we are going to see first. A visual axis connects it to the Moritzburg Castle, which is 2.5 kilometers away and exactly to the west. As we reach another sign, we went inside this wall, and from here, you can already see the little peasant castle. But we decided to check the lighthouse first so we can just make an easier round tour. Loschen, the Pisan Castle, and here on the right side is the Leuchtturm, the lighthouse. The Moritzburg Lighthouse is Saxony's only lighthouse, and the maritime buildings around Moritzburg served the electoral court in the 18th century as a backdrop for their sailing turns across the castle lake. The historical background, however, was the Battle of 1770 between the fleet of the Russians and the Turkish fleet, which ended in victory for the Russians. But there's no information. <laughs> also, we cannot go inside because it's closed. But on the super perfect view here. Due to reconstruction, the lighthouse is currently closed.
But look at that! At least there's an open imbis for to-go snacks and drinks in this season of pandemic. The Fasan and Schlossen, or what we call the Little Fasan Castle, is a square building with two floors. There are Baroque staircases on the south and east sides. The more distant staircase leading to the south is lined with putti. The paths leading to the Fasan Castle are accompanied by sandstone figures. It was presumably built in the Rococo style with the Baroque architectural elements. Ayun yung Pasan and Schlossen. Hello, baby! <laughs> so it's closed every Monday to Wednesday. But it's okay because our, our main purpose here is to walk around. Kasi ang ganda ng paligid ito. Ayan. Very small casa lang siya. The castle was used by King Friedrich August I of Saxony as a summer residence. Until 1945, the castle was owned by the Wettins. It was used as an ornithological branch of Dresden Zoo until 1996. Today, the small castle houses the visitor center, the museum shop, a garden cafe, cloakrooms, restrooms, and changing special exhibition. Unfortunately, the castle is closed until the 29th of April. For detailed operating hours, please check their website in the description box below. That's it for today! If you love videos like this and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit the red button and the notification bell so you'll be updated. Thank you so much for watching and bis zum nächsten Mal! Tschüss!